The so-called greenhouse effect is created by carbon dioxide, a colorless, odorless gas. In small concentrations, it helps to sustain almost all life on Earth. The relatively small amounts of carbon dioxide in the Earth's atmosphere filter the warming rays of the sun to the Earth's surface. But like a greenhouse, carbon dioxide also prevents heat given off by the Earth from escaping into space. Researchers say increasingly large amounts of CO2 are accumulating in the atmosphere. They fear the Earth will gradually become warmer, causing as yet uncertain but possibly disruptive changes in the Earth's climate. Fossil fuels, when burned, release carbon dioxide into the atmosphere. Coal, the worst culprit, oil and natural gas to lesser degrees. Scientists and a few politicians are beginning to worry that global energy planning does not take the greenhouse effect seriously enough. If the earth gets too warm, for example, ice caps could melt, raising the level of the seas. It means goodbye Miami, goodbye Corpus Christi, goodbye Sacramento, goodbye Boston, goodbye New Orleans, goodbye Charleston, Savannah, and Norfolk. On the positive side, it means that we could enjoy boating at the foot of the Capitol and fishing on the South Lawn. One model of climate, the Jason climate model, predicts that doubling carbon dioxide will result in August in Washington, D.C., that are 9 degrees centigrade warmer, or 16 degrees Fahrenheit, than current summers. Changes of this magnitude are very probably going to have a profound effect on agriculture, on all aspects of energy use and generation, and on water and land use. One scientist put the urgency of the greenhouse potential in biblical terms, citing the warning given to Noah in the Old Testament. Noah knew trouble was coming, he said, and he prepared for it. Nelson Benton, CBS News, Capitol Hill.